enjoy chase games. I have to be honest, I don't. They're just not my style and I prefer a game where I can take my time to fully explore and not be pushed into panic mode because something's going to one touch kill me unless I hide in the closet. That's not the type of horror I enjoy, but it's a massive genre and, at least for other people watching, can be a lot of fun. Having said that, I like to try all sorts of different games, particularly to review here, so this week we're looking at a free indie game called Magatsukumo. Can you escape from this giant, terrifying yokai? Only one way to find out. The game opens with some introductory text. The protagonist, Miyoko, is telling us this story because she doesn't want anyone else to have to experience it. It all happened when she went to a mountain with some friends for a barbecue. According to locals from the nearby town, there's a legend surrounding this mountain that you shouldn't go near it, especially on rainy days. If you're there and it starts raining, you should leave right away. It was sunny on the day of their barbecue, but then suddenly black clouds filled the sky and it started raining. The sudden change in weather was just a little unsettling, so they rushed back to the car. But that's when it all started going downhill. On the way back, Miyoko passed under a web hanging above her. At that very moment, her three friends disappeared and she was left all alone. The game then transitions to the inside of an old Japanese-style house. The game begins. Everything is dark, but there's a torch lying by your feet. The moment you pick it up, you discover what you're in for. There is a giant woman spider yokai lurking in the confines of this mansion, the Magatsukumo in question, and naturally, you have to find a way to escape. The game doesn't tell you anything. It's up to you to explore and figure it out. This isn't a long game. You can run around and touch every single room in this mansion in probably 10 or 20 seconds. It's really not big, but that's where the challenge lies. This giant spider is constantly lurking the halls and the moment she spots or even hears you, she'll come running in your direction. There aren't many places to hide. In fact, there's only one place, the toilet. So while you're trying to explore and figure out what to do, she will find and kill you, a lot. There are numerous items hidden around the mansion that you can pick up. They all have varying effects, such as making it harder for the spider to spot you, or giving you an extra chance if you get caught. But spoilers from here on out for how to finish the game. If you want to play and figure it out for yourself, then go download it from the description and then come back when you're done. Okay, so if you're still here, the point of this game is to collect three notes hidden around the mansion. These have been left behind by someone else who was unfortunate enough to run into the giant spider. The first note explains that this person, an investigator, was pulled into another world after passing through a gate at the end of the road. There's no denying that the rumours of people being spirited away are true. There is a strange plant that exists in this world, however, that is actually somewhat helpful, although it doesn't explain how, nor what it is. Just that it's a strange plant and you'll recognise it when you see it. This is one of the items you can find in the house. The second note describes how everything is dark, but there's no denying it, there's a monster nearby. Part of the creature's body seems to resemble a Japanese doll, and this person believes that it may be an evil Tsukumogami that they've read about in a picture scroll before. The closest approximation they can make is that it's the Magatsukumo from the Heian Yoma scroll. The third note mentions that no weapons seem to work on this creature. However, the scroll that originally mentioned this monster also mentioned that fire worked against it, and so they readied their lighter, figuring that if they burnt the entire mansion down, then this strange world would also be destroyed and they would be able to escape. However, they then dropped their lighter in the darkness. They must find it, and soon. The note ends. And so, from the notes, we can gather that we need a lighter to escape. You can explore everywhere, but there won't be any lighter. 
not until you've picked up all three notes that explain this. Once you do, one of the previously locked rooms will now be open, and the giant spider sitting in the corner. Approach her and… she gives chase. But of course. But it turns out that she was sitting on the lighter, so if you manage to grab it, because the controls are a bit finicky here, all you have to do is use it, and game over. The mansion burns and the spider with it. I was able to burn the nest and destroy the monster, Miyoko tells us at the end. She was able to escape and safely reunite with her friends. That creature was called the Magatsukumo, and thinking that she might find some records of it, she has been searching libraries and museums since that day, but hasn't been able to find much of anything. The only thing she ever found was that investigator's notes, but she fears that if she keeps investigating herself, then she might end up in yet another similar, terrifying situation, so perhaps it's best to just leave it be. But then again, if she just ignores it, then won't someone else end up trapped in that spider's web again? And so, she drags herself out of bed, unable to sleep from the fear of what happened that night, and sits down at her computer. If you know what you're doing, this game can honestly be finished in about a minute. It's the exploring and dying that adds to the game's length, but overall it'll still probably take up more than 10 or 20 minutes of your time, max. So if you want a fun little jaunt in a haunted mansion with a giant spider on your tail, hard to look past this one. The atmosphere is great, and being so small, everything is super focused. There's a neat story being told here, and for a few minutes at least, you get to experience it as well. I also really love the design of the spider. As far as I can tell, this is just a creature created for this game, but she gives me Kankandara vibes. She doesn't move terribly fast, but she is relentless in pursuing you, so if you get spotted, the only way to escape her is to hide in the toilet and wait for her to go away. The game is simply too small to keep running in circles and hope that she'll eventually get tired of it and lose track of you. She won't. The controls are fairly simple as well. Swing your mouse to swing the camera around, WASD to move around, and E to pick up items. Escape brings up the menu where you can then check or use said items. And that's it. Easy enough that even I could remember it. This also looks like the first game by this particular creator, but I honestly enjoyed it quite a lot, and I'm someone who doesn't like chase games, so, you know. I'm looking forward to any future releases they might put out, especially if we get more creepy yokai and urban legends. But what do you guys think of this one? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.